All right, hey gang, it's TJ with PixarPost.com, and we've got some very exciting news that we wanted to share today. So earlier uh, this afternoon, April 9th, we found out that the title and approximate release date for the Monsters-themed television series that's going to be on Disney Plus was announced. So it's actually going to be called Monsters at Work. And if you're not familiar with the Disney Plus streaming service, it's actually going to be their answer to Netflix, where they're going to have uh, all of their original content from really everything that Disney owns, whether that be Disney, Star Wars, Marvel. They didn't say it's all going to be at launch, but it's going to be coming soon. Anyways, uh, on November 9th, 2017, is when we found out that this Monsters-themed program was going to be coming. Today, like I said, we find out it's called Monsters at Work. Now, to, to make it even bigger, the news even bigger, ever since this was announced, people were worried about if Billy Crystal and John Goodman were going to be voicing the characters of Mike Wazowski and Sully. I mean, how can you have monsters uh, as far as, well, Mike and Sully without having Billy and John? And it was announced that they are going to be doing the voices for those characters. So that is absolutely fantastic news. But what we wanted to do was also talk about a few of the other items that came along with that news and uh, what the story is going to be. And this is actually announced on uh, the D23 website. And of course, you can read our summary of the news today um, on, of course, PixarPost.com. And this will be one of the lead stories there. Um, but it's held, the story is going to be placed six months after uh, Monsters Incorporated. So now we know that uh, Laugh is the, the method of procuring <laughs> the energy for the monster world rather than scaring uh, energy, which was what was in the past. And we'll, I'll read this part uh, as far as the quote directly. It says, we'll follow a new monster, Tylor, uh, T-Y-L-O-R, Tylor Tusk, Tuskman, voiced by Superstore's Ben Feldman, an enthusiastic and talented mechanic on Monsters Incorporated Facilities Team, M-I-F-T who dreams of following in the footsteps of his idols, Mike and Sully, and making his way up to the laugh, the factory laugh floor as a jokester. So we're now going to see this Tyler, who want, Tyler, Tyler, who wants to make it all the way to the laugh floor himself. Uh, and we've got some other great returning characters, in addition to Mike and Sully coming back and voicing their original, with their original voice talent, Celia May, Schmoopsy Poo herself is going to be back. Uh, Mike uh, will be excited about that as he is Googly Bear, and that is voiced by the returning actress Jennifer Tilly, who did that in Monsters Incorporated. Uh, Needleman and Smitty are returning. If you remember, those are the guys that are kind of hitting each other, going like, oh, We just wanted to wish you good luck hey, today. Hey, 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 come on, get lost, you two. You're making him lose his focus. Oh, sorry. See you later, fellas. Go get him, Mr. Sullivan. Quiet. You're making him lose his focus. Oh, no. Sorry. Shut up. So those guys are going to be back, and that is great. They were originally voiced by writer Dan Gerson, um, and unfortunately in 2016, in February 2016, he passed away, uh, so he won't be able to voice those characters. But uh, the, the janitor staff of Needleman and Smitty, the two characters, will be voiced by uh, Stephen Stanton. Um, and then, of course, I'm very thrilled that we're going to have the Yeti coming back. So John Ratzenberger is going to be voicing a character. That's fantastic. But if you thought one character wasn't enough for John Ratzenberger, maybe you felt two would be good. And if that was the case, you'd be right, because he's also voicing another character named Bernard. We have no idea any details about this particular character, but he was announced as a new addition to the television series Monsters at Work. We also have an alphabetical order for the characters, Cutter. Now, Cutter is voiced by Al Elena Yubach, and now, if you know her at all, she voiced Mama Amelda in Coco. So it's really great to have her back. I mean, with her dynamic voice, I have no idea what they're gonna what they're gonna do with her. But it's great that she's uh, gonna be in this as Cutter, and she is listed as a uh, as we wrote a staunchly rule abiding monster. So she likes to play by the rules all the time. Uh, Duncan is voiced by Lucas Neff, and he is an opportunistic plumber. Um, <clears throat> the Lucas Neff uh, inclusion is actually kind of neat because if you recall all the way back at D23 Expo, I think it was 2015 when they announced the good dinosaur, or actually it was before that, it was 2013, when they announced the good dinosaur and gave a sneak peek of that, Lucas Neff was actually the original voice of Arlo. 
Now, obviously, along the way, we know that the story caught some troubles and got completely reworked. And what they said is that with Lucas Neff, they were bringing his character's age way down. And Lucas Neff was older, so he couldn't voice Arlo, a really young Arlo, and still make it work. Um, so it's actually neat that he was pulled back into another project that's somewhat, uh, or that's Pixar related, I should say. Um, there's also Fritz, who is a scatterbrained boss. And if you know of, uh, it's voiced by Henry Winkler. If you know that name, you may know him from the television show Barry. He's been in the movie The Waterboy with Adam Sandler. He is the Fonz himself. So <laughs> from Happy Days, we're very excited about that. Probably the one that a lot of people are going to be the most intrigued by, though, is this Rose, which is a twin sister of Roz. So that is very interesting. Now, Rose, since it's a twin sister, is going to also be voiced by Pixarian Bob Peterson. Uh, Bob Peterson, as you may know, has voiced Mr. Ray in the Finding Nemo and Finding Dory franchise. He did Doug in the movie Up. He's done other voice. He actually replaced um, Michael Keaton as Chick Hicks uh, in Cars 3 and also in the uh, Lightning McQueen Racing Academy ride. He does the voice in that as well for Chick Hicks. So he's done a lot of different things, and he's been a resident Pixar veteran and jokester himself for a very long time. So we're thrilled that he's going to be doing Rose, R-O-Z-E, and see what uh, what he might be bringing to her character and what her character is all about. Twin sister, hmm? We also have Millie Tuskman, which is Tyler's mom, voiced by Aisha Taylor. And uh, we already mentioned Tyler Tuskman by Ben Feldman. And Val Little is Tyler's best friend. And that is voiced by Kelly Marie Tran. I can tell you that from the chatter online, people are extremely excited that uh, Kelly Marie is involved in this. They're, they're saying like she is so great. She's part of the Star Wars uh, franchise that Disney is doing animated series. <clears throat> Um, but we're really excited to see what else is going to come from the new characters as well as the returning characters. Now, from the direction and production of the film, this is going to be produced at Disney Television Animation. So as of right now, of course, being Pixar fanatics ourselves, we would love if this could have been produced at Pixar proper in the Pixar Animation Studios in Emeryville. But we kind of understand that at this point, they're not really set up to do a television series that's kind of an ongoing thing. So uh, we're excited to see, you know, what they're going to be able to do with it with Disney and Disney television animations able to do with it. They have done some great projects, um, the Tangled Ever After series, um, and there's been other programs that have been all part of that, uh, that, that series too. But what we're probably most excited for, so for Pixar fans, you might know the name Rob Gibbs. He's been around the studio for a very long time. Um, he was actually, a, he's been a story artist on many of the films, but it's perfect that he was a story artist on Monsters, Inc. And he also uh, has done many of the Cars tunes, whether directed or co-directed, many of them, uh, and, and other projects. It's actually great to see him tied to this and have something that uh, a person that's grounded to it. Now, he's not listed as the sole director. Another director that's associated with this is Cat Good. So we're excited to see what, uh, what she's going to bring as well. Um, and then production-wise, the show is going to be executive produced by Robert Scanaway and produced by Farrell Barron. Uh, so we shall see what comes. But as of right now, this is extremely exciting news. We knew that, again, it was coming, but getting the fact that Billy and John are going to be still remaining with this project, voicing Mike and Sully. Wow, I, we were worried, too. They didn't make it seem like they were only coming in for the first episode. Like, if you remember Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, that television show that they did, uh, Tim Allen came in and only voiced, like, the introductory episode. And then from there, uh, another gentleman, and I'm forgetting his name right now. I definitely know him. He hosted the Annie Awards. Uh, he played Putty in Seinfeld. Uh, but uh, he is actually, he came in and voiced Buzz Lightyear after the introductory episode, so we were glad to see that they weren't saying that Billy and John were just coming in for the first episode and then moving on. Uh, Patrick, Patrick is his name, I'm coming up with it now. Um, but anyways, that is uh, great news. What are your thoughts on this brand new Monsters at Work television show that was announced today? Uh, are you as, as excited about it as we are? Are you excited that Billy and John are back? Or how about any of the other characters? 
So let's actually ask that. Put that in the comments. Are you excited? Which character returning are you most excited for? Mike, Sully, Celia, Needleman and Smitty, or the Yeti? And which of the new characters kind of intrigues you the most? So you can find this list of characters, again, back on our website, pixarpost.com. And as always, be sure to stay tuned to pixarpost.com all week for the latest Pixar news. Bye-bye.